She really, really wanted me to apply to WashU. She said, you know it's one of the top universities in the country, don't you? I said, of course I did. Most native and actor Sterling K. Brown delivering the commencement address this morning at Washington University. Brown said he did not apply because he wanted to leave the nest. He graduated from Stanford University with a degree in acting. Former White House Chief Medical Advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci spoke at WashU's med school graduation this afternoon, and political editor Mark Maxwell caught up with him. Mark? Mike, Dr. Fauci is spending his version of retirement in public service, encouraging the next generation to speak up and engage in civic life. While he stressed the importance of public health officials figuring out better ways to get their message out, he also said doctors could learn some important lessons in listening, too. Thousands of students reached the finish line of their college careers Monday morning at Washington University's Olympic Field. Despite obstacles like COVID that were thrust in your way. Those obstacles disrupting Atlanta native Yoel Binyam's sophomore year. It's not really what I expected, but, you know, it made me stronger, uh, made me more resilient. While he navigated college through a pandemic, his graduating class included the man who steered the country through it all. Dr. Fauci has also been a model of integrity. Wash U awarded Dr. Anthony Fauci with an honorary doctorate degree. Just seeing him in person is awesome. How would Dr. Fauci grade America's public health response? We did not do as well as we should have. He applauded the speed of science in rushing a vaccine to the market, but sounded an alarm that a different kind of viral spread was sweeping the nation. The normalization and acceptance of untruths and outright egregious lying threatens many other aspects of our lives in education, in business, in the law, in a way that should deeply concern us all. Fauci encouraged WashU Med School students to speak up and join the public discourse. Do not hesitate to push back on these destructive forces with civility. After enduring a flood of criticism from protesters and politicians alike, Fauci said he and the medical community can learn important lessons from them too. Leave an open mind that even when people criticize you in a, a, a profoundly unfair way, that there's always some kernel of, of, I wouldn't say necessarily truth, but probably some, something in there that you need to listen to. Dr. Fauci also encouraged the public to exercise some healthy skepticism for yourselves. He said, beware when someone might be highly energetic or obsessed with spouting off on social media. He said, usually credible people with expertise in their field aren't spending a ton of time in the comments section.